All right, yeah. Well, exactly what it says: MK Ultra glitches and strange behaviors. Yeah, I'm full on board with all this. Yeah, uh, well, they've pretty much admitted using M or yeah, basically using MK Ultra. But also, pretty much, didn't the LSD craze of the '60s come from? the same testing but yeah let's go put emotions and business aside you have to separate the two and you don't know how to do that so that's where i come in and i keep your emotions and i deal with your emotions over here but when it comes time for business I implement what you told me on the emotion side into handling it in a professional manner because sometimes it's hard for you to um, be professional. Either that or she had a love egg in. That's the only two things I could think of. <laughs> Why her face is cutting like that? That was mad. What's going on? But then I suppose in there, like, I don't know actually. But couldn't it be, I have saw that with someone else, couldn't it be like an eyelash malfunctioning thing? Do you know what I mean? But I don't know. Yeah, let's go. Dada? Dada! You have one picture, Dada, please. Boys. Do you know, I honestly didn't think that was Lady Gaga. I, did, I honestly thought that that was like going to be of some serial killer. Truly. Like some woman who, do you know what I mean, killed the neighbor's kids or whatever. Or do you know what I mean, some creepy woman who killed her own kids because they got demons. How are they not kind of disturbed by this, the people that are taking pictures? It is disturbing. You walk around London, you see either she's, there's something creepy going on, or she's sm smoking spice. You'll see people do all sorts of crazy things on the legal highs now, like, do you know what I mean, defying gravity by leaning way too far forward. And you think, how are they manage that? Get squashed. Get a bit closer. You're like an ant. It's on his foot. Stay there. Get back, dude. Yeah. We'll give her space. Fans, she's not going to do anything to you. She's not going to have pictures of her. Bye, Dada. Well, get away for that. I love ya. To be fair, no, Lady Gaga is a weird though anyway. Lady Gaga! Gaga! I mean. Wow. Wow.
you know, on the backs of Isaiah Thomas. But um, it's just... They look like they're tripping. Like, they look like they're either really... Both of them, though, yeah. Beyonce and Lady Gaga are, like, probably got to be two of the most famous, even though I, do you know what I mean, barely recognise them. I recognise Jay-Z. Uh, but both of them, 100%, look like serial-killing women. Right, because if you, like, the news picture of, like, well, look at pictures of Rose West or Myra Hindley. Like, they've got that kind of vibe going on. But it looks like, because I was thinking with that Beyonce one that sometimes I kind of stare, do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you do, you catch yourself and you're like, oh, shit, like, you've just been completely somewhere else. But what's weird about what she was doing is the fact that, like, she's blinking and looking around. You don't normally do that. Do you know what I mean? Normally you're, like, just staring and then all of a sudden you catch yourself. But the fact that she's kind of blinking, looking around and still being all staring like that is weird. That's right. You know, they're going to give it a run, but, right. you know, it's just going to be hard to beat the chaos right now. What I think they're on top of the game. I got to go with the majority. Right. Um, you know, they're they're on a mission right now. You know, they, I guess they want to show the public that last year wasn't a fluke for us. Yeah. Um, you know, we're here, we're for real, we're for real people. Speaking of showing us, 2 chains, you got a shot, 2 chains. Huh. Let me see that shot, dog. Speaking huh. of showing School us, 2 chains, you got a shot, let me see that shot, Speaking of showing us, 2 chains, you got a shot, 2 chains. Two chains. You got a shot, two chains. To be fair, no, if you heard two chat like, do you know what I mean? He's of the, um, what do they call it, lean? The, I don't even know what it is, like, morphine in fucking lemonade or some shit. But yeah, do you know what I mean? He could just be tripping. Shot, let me see that shot, dog. <clears throat> <laughs> That's you need to remind yourself that you need to focus and um, and try not to let stuff bother you as much as possible. But it is going to bother you because you're human, and and I was human. I am human still. Um, <laughs> but um, but it but I was just referring to myself in the past. Um, not that I was not human. Um, I'm human, and and I was human. I am human still. Um, but um, but it. But I was just referring to myself in the past. Um, not that I was not human. Um, Privacy thing, and I thought that was a fascinating no, it's answer. It's okay. You want to take off the hoodie? No, I never take off the hoodie. I know you don't. What's with that? There's a group of women in the audience that wish you would. No, uh, no. <laughs> Girls? Whoa. All right. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Um... Can you explain what this instant personalization thing Don't was? Don't start tripping, did, Craig. Why you did it, and what was the what's the Don't value start of tripping, it to your users? Maybe I should take off the hoodie. Take off the hoodie. Go ahead. You want to? Are you hot? Go ahead. <laughs> Here, can you get someone. Uh, you all right? Yeah. This is a great moment in internet history. What? <laughs> all right. Um, what are we gonna do with the mic? Put it on your. Right. Put it on the collar of your T-shirt. You want some? You need some help? No. Good. All right. Okay. Sorry about this. He's so sweating like a pig, no. no we're not even yelling at you. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> we're not going to yell at him. No, we're, of course not. <sighs> that is a warm hoodie. Yeah. See. No, it's a thick hoodie. We, it's, um, it's a company hoodie. We print our mission on the inside. What? Oh, oh my really? God, the inside of the hoodie, everybody. Take a moment. <sighs> what is it? Making the... Making the world more open and connected. Oh my god, it's like a secret cool. cult. <laughs> Look at that. Making the world open and connected. Stream graph platform and this weird symbol in the middle that is probably for the Illuminati. <laughs> oh, 2010. No, it's 2010. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> this weird symbol in the middle that is probably for the Illuminati. Yeah, shout out to her. She got some bulls. She gonna get clipped going to her car, do you know what I mean? Yeah, she got some bull saying that. But that was weird. Oh my god, it's like a secret cool. cult. This 
weird symbol in the middle that is probably for the Illuminati. Oh my God, it's like a secret cool. cult. Here's a funny thing about the Jewish star. F frequencies have a shape. See, if you put rice on a speaker or like a piece of paper on a speaker and you play a frequency through it, the higher you turn the frequency, the more complex the, the rice will form. So it shows you that out of the speaker is a physical vibrational force which is causing the rice to form patterns. And if you turn it up to a certain <clears throat> frequency, it does it a perfect Jewish star. People of Australia and of our show, we were very Australia, empathetic right? about what happened and very sort of horrified. And so we were wondering, how is everyone going? How's Kim doing? Um, what? Okay. I'm sorry, is there someone talking to you? Yes, sorry. Sorry about that. So I just was wondering they how just everyone's came doing. In. Hello, Courtney, have you, have we lost you? Bad news for the Obama administration. Uh, we have this new CNN ORC poll, which is quite a, quite a uh, turnaround in, in uh, That's well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darrison bite. Let's go ahead, Terrace Terrace in those for the bit. They had the pit. <laughs> we had that's a like, um, very. <laughs> that's not like Bruce Almighty when he starts typing what I'm saying. Just jokes. We Darrison. Or oh, Mike. By the... On my Bichetti when he's trying to pronounce people's names on the weather report. It's easy for you to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wipe the drool. I was in a trance. Yeah, wipe the drool there. I'm... Yeah, it's a difficult title. Uh, it's a good. Dip. See, like that one, I can explain by what I said because I do that. Do you know what I mean? I actually think I've read somewhere that it's an early sign of Alzheimer's, which is that's what I mean. But I do that. Like I can just stare, and I'm. Because I start thinking of something and then I go through the whole like storyline in my head and I'm like kind of staring. And the way she kind of snapped, I don't know actually, she did do a bit of an evil grin. I've never done that coming out of it. What the hell was she thinking about? Mine's normally like, normally it happens to me when I think like, if I see someone cross the road and like, I don't know, they nearly get hit or something. I then go for a scenario in my head where it just plays. And then it's like I see myself getting hit and my body kind of reacts and it snaps me out of it. It's kind of weird, I suppose. A <laughs> good day to die. But I suppose it's because you had kind of a good day and if you would have died, well, so be it. Is that it? That's right. It's, that, that, that's, a, that's a good question. Have a sandwich and let's go shopping. <laughs> die hard. That, that would have been at your chosen That's, time. Well, it's about, I don't, it makes about as much sense. A good, <laughs> or maybe it, there is a good day to die hard. Yeah. I said it was. You've had a rough year. You've had a year that would test a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Illness in the family. Mm -hmm. A breakup. This spasm of publicity about what happened in from Mexico to London. It was pretty rough, yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh, weird. Hello. Um, oh my goodness, hello. Ew, strong Brittany. Um, yeah, it was a weird. To be fair, and like that as well, it looked like more like 
actually she just kind of had that thing of kind of being put on the spot and then getting emotional and trying to kind of like hold it rather than, do you know what I mean, she's glitching out. I actually think people are kind of harsh on Britney Spears. That thing when she's shouting at her kids in the car and everyone's saying like that, that was bad, but it's like, <laughs> everybody, like, she didn't do nothing like above what any other parent does when their kid's messing around in the car, do you know what I mean? It was just like, so kind of, just ridiculous really, but, yeah, this seemed more like she had genuine emotion hit her, <clears throat> thinking about, do you know what I mean, how messed up her life is. Ew, I'm embarrassed, can we <laughs> We will turn now to a story that is burning up the internet, Absolutely. it's burning up the water cooler talk, it's Everybody's just burning this morning, it. yes. Britney Spears, she's bald. Uh, we've got this photo now from the x17online.com and it appears to show the pop star shaving her own head. Public unraveling of yet another child star. This is Amanda Bynes we're talking about, formerly of Nickelodeon. Here she is wearing a ratty wig, appearing in court on charges of smoking weed and then throwing her bong out of a 36-floor apartment when police arrived. Bynes insists she is fine, but recent events suggest otherwise. ABC's Gio Benitez is on the story. Gio, sad stuff. It really is, Dan. <laughs> it's like Russell Brand's joke, no. When he said, this next guest come up through Disney. Disney is like a nuclear reactor creating um, child stars. Uh, but also like nuclear reactors, it will make you go mental and bald. <laughs> That's a good joke. Hold on two secs. Let's carry on with this creepy shit. Let's go. This morning, Amanda Bynes denies it all, saying she never tossed anything out through the window. It's a bizarre new case for her growing list of problems. And wait till you see how she showed up in that court. Lauren Al Roper, will someone do the, the junior high hug thing? It's like this. Uh, you gotta make it real awkward. That's exactly how you he did it. You have to have a certain amount of distance between yes, the bodies exactly. in junior high. Yes, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of uh, memories today, actually. It's a big day in music history. 35 years ago today, Elvis Presley passed away, the king of rock and roll. And as Mark Cohn says in his great song, Walking in Memphis, there's a pretty little thing waiting for the king down in the... Harbor, Michigan, and uh, what a pleasure for Herbie and me to introduce Marshall Mathers. Some of you may know him as Eminem, but he's going to join the Saturday night crew with our music intro starting next Saturday night. But folks, I want to take you to the world premiere of one of his new videos called Berserk. Take a listen. It's headed for the top of the charts. Was that the great Rick Rubin who was uh, helping produce that with you, uh, Marshall, when you did that? Yeah, sorry. Live <laughs> TV. <laughs> Live TV freaks me out a little bit. No. Um, yes, I'm sorry. To be fair, Eminem's pretty socially odd as well, to be fair. Like, people forget that Eminem is a great rapper, but he's also, do you know what I mean? And he's a comic book, he's a nerd, basically. <clears throat> but there's another one of these where you see 50 Cent. But you've also got to think as well, Eminem was bad into drugs as well at that point. Because there's another one with 50 Cent. And you know 50 Cent's a real friend to him because someone asked, it's them two doing an interview and someone asks Eminem a question and he's just like, and then like 50 looks, sees it, and then answers, basically answers for him, and answers in a way that kind of bigs Eminem up. Yeah, just, I don't know whether they're after that, but yeah. What was the question? Um, but it's been it's been a it's been a heck of a ride, to be honest. Um, I really can't complain. Um, yeah, I was kind of uh, I was a little down. I, I I found out I was injured and I had to have surgery again, or and, you know, you know, with another knee. But at the end of the day, you know, I have I have amazing teammates. You know, guys like Draymond, everybody on this team, they 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 come over there, they wrap their hands around me like. Yo. 
That could just be a scary Watch there at the top of your screen over here. Thank you for Jason Terry. <laughs> and meanwhile, the Cavaliers give up two. Wow. Can you take us through what happened with the play with Jason Terry? <laughs> you ran off the court and hugged him and oh, really? I gave up the layup. Attention. I don't remember that. You know they were inbound on the ball? What play are you talking about? In the first half, you ran off the court and hugged Jason Terry and Snell got a layup. Because you're off the floor. Oh, I didn't know I was in the game. Huh, bro? What's with the ski mask? Kind of, uh, it's my alter ego. So. It looks like UK. You know, it was a gift from my brother. So, figure why not. Does your alter ego have a name? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? I can't tell you. It looks like he's doing like a UK drill thing. slow motion does make it even more creepy this is a video of hillary clinton fainting in 2012 where she suffered a concussion yeah she's got something wrong with her now isn't she like okay. epilepsy or something please sorry guys this is this is not genius of requested for this please stay in your seats In covertly recorded off-air transmissions from the Bush-Clinton presidential election campaign in the 1990s, we can see that Bill Clinton was nothing more than a puppet to the puppet masters which placed him in the White House. Bill Clinton's demeanor seems to be similar to a person who is under a hypnotic trance. Oh, he's trying to look at her tits. It is Bill Clinton. I don't know, I'm just sleeping. Remember that every single man, woman, and child in the state of South Carolina awakens to a freer, safer world because of George Bush. I would remind people that every single morning we all awaken to a safer, freer world because of George Bush. Jesus. And Nicole, I would remind you and the people of Florence that all of us awaken every single day to a freer, safer world because of George Bush. Yeah, or he's holding a gun behind the they camera. They themselves awaken every single day to a freer, safer world because of George. This is unreal. I'm supposed to start talking. I'm sorry, I'm sick. On behalf of this fearless and talented cast, uh, we would like to thank... Oh, it's so heavy. Uh, we'd like to thank Netflix, uh, Sean, Matt, Ross, and the amazing casting director, Carmen Cuba. Um, 
And I would just like to say that in light of all that's going on in the world today, it's difficult to celebrate the already celebrated Stranger Things. But this award from you who take your craft seriously and earnestly believe, like me, that great acting can change the world is a call to arms from our fellow craftsmen and women to go deeper and through our art to battle against fear, self-centeredness and exclusivity of our predominantly narcissistic culture and through our craft to cultivate a more empathetic and understanding society by revealing intimate truths that serve... If that speech isn't what every, why everybody's sick of Hollywood, the self-importance of actors, that good acting can change the world. No, it can't. You're there for entertainment. Everything he just said are exclusive. There ain't nothing more exclusive than Hollywood. Do you know what I mean? Let's just go back and listen to someone from Hollywood saying this speech seriously. You see why Ricky Gervais just rips him. And talented cast. Uh, we would like to thank, oh, it's so heavy. Uh, we'd like to thank Netflix, uh, Sean, Matt, Ross, and the amazing casting director, Carmen Cuba. Um, <laughs> And I would just like to say that in light of all that's going on in the world today, it's difficult to celebrate the already celebrated. In light of everything that's going on in the world today, so we're talking wars, do you know what I mean? Child abuse, all of that sort of stuff, right? Actors is... is let's carry on. Stranger Things, but this award from you who take your craft seriously and earnestly believe, like me, that great acting can change the world is a call to arms from our fellow craftsmen and women to go deeper and through our art to battle against fear, self-centeredness, and exclusivity of our predominant... Fear, self-centeredness, self-centeredness. Please tell me a more self-centered world than Hollywood. Narcissistic culture and... Narcissistic. Tell me something that's more narcissistic than Hollywood. And they're going to blame the American culture for being narcissistic when they are the most elite, narcissistic, exclusive part of the Hollywood, of American society. And they're paid to act. They're entertainers. Unbelievable. Through our craft to cultivate a more empathetic and understanding society by revealing intimate truths that serve as a forceful reminder to folks that when they feel broken and afraid and tired, they are not alone. We are united in that we are all human beings and we are all together on this horrible, painful, joyous, exciting, and mysterious ride that is being alive. Now, as we act in the continuing narrative of Stranger Things, we 1983 Midwesters will repel bullies. We will shelter freaks. Hey, hey, stop, stop. I think she was more just thinking like, what are you going on about? Do you know what I mean? Like, what are you going on about? You're acting like, do you know what I mean? You're a general, like, sending men into war. You're an actor in, obviously, Stranger Things. Actors, mate, literally, that's exactly right there is why no one likes Hollywood. They're the most irrelevant thing to society, but they think they're so important and can dictate to everyone else about how we live our lives it annoys me stop stop it hey hey radio fuck you radio fuck you <laughs> y'all don't want to lose again a lot of people here tonight felt like they lost you know why because y'all been lied to. Google lied to you.
just friends, just friends, and uh, he's a good man. Doing well. Long time. We've been friends for a long time. Life. We discussed it. Why does Kanye look so pale? I just want. I just want. I just want to take a picture right now. Don't see that. Don't see that. Don't see that. Don't see that. Yeah. Why did Kanye all of a sudden look like Dave Chappelle's? Um, that white character Dave Chappelle does. He looks so like. Yeah. Chalky. And pale. But that's what I mean. Some of these people are just odd. Like Kanye is odd. But Kanye is also, he is putting himself on the line, to be fair. Like Kanye does say some sensible shit but you just really got to focus like he yeah if you get past his kind of crazy the crazy side of him the thing he says about tables and stopping kids jumping on tables that's a great analogy he does but yeah nah yeah Oh, yeah. Well, bunch of weirdos. Let's face it, it's the end of all of that, I think. I hope, anyway. All of them kind of like Hollywood and that. Yeah, hopefully. But some of them was weird, too. They are either tripping on something or, yeah. But I say some of them are just weird. Eminem's weird. Lady Gaga's weird. Yeah. But yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet.